Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna give you a pro way of using TikTok for beginners, very simple, very easy. I'm gonna explain to you how to get monetized, what are the ways that you can get monetized, how to publish content, how to find what is currently trending, what hashtags and essentially how to structure your post on TikTok. Let's launch the TikTok app and jump in. First thing when you launch the TikTok app after you created your own account, Let's presume you don't have any followers and you don't follow anyone. So essentially what will be the main source of information will be the first page over here, the home, if you focus on the lower side of the screen. So at the home, you usually going to see only content that you see for the first time, creators that you see for the first time, people that you haven't follow, you haven't watched, you haven't liked or comment on their content. As well, in between, you will find a lot of advertisements. If you can see every, you see, this is every fourth or fifth swipe will be an ad, which is kind of usual, kind of normal. If you go on the top side of the menu, you will see that there is an option to switch from for you page towards the shop. This is a new section where essentially people are selling a lot of items. Sometimes these items are sold by the brands itself, uh, sometimes are sold by creators from the influencers itself. This is why uh, for a lot of the influencers now, it's much easier to set up a store like this, right right over here, engaging and interacting with their own viewers, doing live streams, and they might sell a lot of stuff. The next section will be what you're currently following. This might be empty for you, but this is where you're gonna see the feed from your current uh, following list. This is where people you follow, you're interested. You can set this to be your default launching feed, meaning when you launch the app, instead of you seeing random people, you can set to see your only following list. The last option over here is STEM. This is uh, default on each and every TikTok, no matter what kind of settings do you have. This is essentially science, technology, engineering, and math. This is educational uh, feed. Very good. I find it very, very interesting. Sometimes when you got extremely exhausted from the regular, you know, trending sounds, trending topics over again, different people making the same video. Well, simply you can come over here on Steam, right? And essentially see what the heck is going on, what you can learn about the world and how the world works. The next section over here, you will see like a small TV icon. It's live. When you click on live, you will find everyone who is currently live streaming, right? People doing boat fishing. It's like a live TV, right? You're seeing what people are interacting or how they're actually engaging. Where are they at the moment? It's kind of cool. Uh, I don't spend so much time on it, but sometimes you might find, you know, some interesting profession that you ever wonder how it works. To exit the live, all you gotta do to click on the X on the top right corner. Now, if we focus back down again on the lower menu, the second option will be friends. When you click on friends, this will be people that uh, are either added from your Facebook list or your contact list on your phone because TikTok will ask you, uh, are you willing to give them permission to add people from your contact list? Or this will be people that TikTok presumes or speculates that you might know from somewhere. I don't know how they, they, they decide that you might know them or you might not know them. But this is essentially how it works. Also here you will find people that already followed you. As you can see, I have a bunch of people who followed me over here and I didn't follow them back. And this is why TikTok is hanging around and TikTok is trying to essentially, you know, push me to follow them back. The next option will be the plus sign. This is essentially where you're creating a new post. When you click at the plus sign, well, you have plenty of options. You can simply select anything that you want to upload. Let's pick this. Let's pick this around the white page, right? On the right side, you have a small menu where you can change, you can input text, you can, for example, make the text larger, you can make the text smaller. When you're done, you hit done. Then, for example, you can go down and include different stickers. You can mention someone. Let's say, for example, we want to mention Gary V over here, right? Next option as well, you can include over here, you have this like a filter, like a vintage vibe gifts layers that are on top of your original uh, creation. 
I think it might be cool, uh, especially if you have like uh, uh, into like a vintage or video editing, uh, like a content or or viewers. Then you have a small arrow that actually extends the menu and gives you a lot of more options. So essentially, you can include a voiceover explaining or commenting or reacting on other people's content. And the last option will be to save the video. Some people do that. Some people essentially create, edit the video, then save the video and then go out and publish the video elsewhere. Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, whatever. I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of this. When you finish with editing, click Next. And this is where you input your metadata. You input your title, uh, two, three sentences maximum explaining what is the video about. I would say three to five hashtags as well. Then you are able to include the location. And if you scroll down, you're able actually to save the video as a draft instead of publishing it. On the lower left corner, you will see draft button. You click on draft button and you save the video as a draft and you can come back. Let me show you. When you click drafts, right? And then we click on the lower right corner with your profile icon. Then when you go back to your profile, you will see that the draft will appear over here. And when you click on draft, you're able to do two things, right? First option would be to just post it, right? Click on it once and then click next and click post. Very easy. But let's say you didn't want to do that, right? Let's say you, you change your mind, you want to delete it. How are we going to go about it? You have to go on the top right corner, click select, then select on the post, and then you click delete on the lower middle side of the screen. This is how simple it is. Well, guys, I think this is the, the basics. We cover the basics. I hope you guys find a lot of new things and you're going to use the platform much better. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.